The Archbishop points to what he says would happen if the Archdiocese did not do this. A few victim survivors, he said, would sue the church for huge amounts until the church runs out of money, and then the rest of the victim survivors would be left empty-handed. By filing for bankruptcy, the Archbishop says it's better for everyone. But a bankruptcy lawyer I spoke to says it's more complicated than that. With the Child Victims Act set to take effect Sunday in Maryland, removing the statute of limitations on clergy sexual abuse claims, the Archdiocese of Baltimore has been openly discussing the possibility of filing for Chapter 11 bankruptcy for weeks. On Friday afternoon, the Archbishop said it's happening. His announcement says that filing for bankruptcy will allow victim survivors to be equitably compensated and will allow the church to continue its mission. The announcement from the Archbishop also states in part, the Archdiocese and victim survivors will then enter negotiations with the hope of agreeing to a plan that includes a trust fund to provide compensation. If a plan is approved by the bankruptcy court, no future claims for past cases of abuse can be brought against the church. Bankruptcy lawyer Eric Steiner puts it like this. And obviously the, the Archdiocese is going to want to pay as little as possible versus the creditors that want more. So it's really the court's job is to balance the interests of both sides. The bottom line, Steiner says, if the church had not filed for bankruptcy, juries might have awarded huge payouts to victim survivors. But by filing for bankruptcy, the church gets what's called an automatic stay. So the automatic stay is essentially the legal shield. Um, it protects entities, people that file for bankruptcy. And it's a unique facet of bankruptcy. Steiner says he would expect the archdiocese to ask the judge overseeing the bankruptcy case to require that each victim survivor receive the same dollar amount. And in fact, in the archbishop's announcement, he uses the term equitably to describe the payouts three different times. Does this seem more equitable to you? I think that's going to depend on what that plan looks like. How much is going to be devoted towards the victims? And you can read the Archbishop's full announcement right now on the WBAL-TV app. For the 11 News IT, I'm Tolly Taylor.